Who is in the bathroom again? It's me. It's me. And who is in the bathtub specifically? It's me. What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Sam and I'm female to male transgender. Four years on testosterone, three years post-op top surgery. And yes, I am sick once again, because I'm always sick. My immune system sucks ass, so. Yay. Today, I was gonna talk to you guys about facial hair because in the last comments that I've had, I've had a lot of people asking about my facial hair. And honestly, I am flattered because my facial hair is my favorite part of transitioning. Most favoritest parts ever. Like I said, I used to draw on my goddamn face for hours. So, thank you for the comments and thinking it's so fabulous. And um, yeah, it's definitely got a lot better. A lot of the comments are asking for tips and tricks on how to get a beard like mine, but there's not many tips or tricks I could give you. Unfortunately, it's just kind of up to genes and time. That's the only thing I can say is just be patient because my beard did not become like this until two, two and a half years. It didn't become this full and it's still like not that crazy full, like it's pretty light. Thank you, Papa, and all of my genes on my guy side for giving me this. So instead of giving you guys like tips and tricks, I was just going to kind of do a timeline, talk over the pictures and tell you kind of when things started happening. It's different for everyone, so don't like get angry or base your beard off of someone else's. Like, some people get like a full ass mustache like their first week, I don't know. And some people, you know, don't get facial hair until five years in, it's all over the place. But hope you guys like this timeline and I hope that it helps you see that things do take time. Like seriously, I thought I had a, like a badass beard when I was like nine months in and it was like a little tuft right here that was like so gross. So, you know, just be happy with what you got and like keep working for it and you'll be fine. <laughs> okay, here we go. Hey guys, welcome to my timeline. This is baby trans Sam, baby face. I look like I'm straight up 11, um, <laughs> but this is me pre-T, not on any testosterone. Uh, this is the side of my face with a ton of peach fuzz because that was my beard before tea and my friends used to touch it because it was so soft. And this is a perfect example of what I used to do. I used to draw on my face, draw a beard on my face on social media apps for hours just to show you guys what I used to do for a long time. Um, this is when I started testosterone, so it's July of 2015. And this is what my face looked like about zero to four months on testosterone. Oh, look how happy I look. But just to show you guys, like, you know, it takes some time. At least it did for me. It's not like it jumped to what it is now. Hey, we got some baby hairs coming in. This is about five months in. Look at that stash and under chin glow. Um, it gets a little darker on the sides of, your, of my mouth. So I was pretty stoked on that. If you can see, you have to look closely. <laughs> and hey, it's filling out. It's nine months in and it's uh, getting darker and longer underneath and on the sides. I was stoked about no nope, and I look straight up dead like someone shot me I am not deceased but it looks like it but you can kind of see the mustache and the beard <laughs> kind of it gets darker so I don't know why I took that picture this is the little tuft I was talking about that I thought was so badass as you can tell from the picture hilarious but I was very proud of it it was definitely filling in a bit but <laughs> hilarious quick little interlude from a uh, green grapes who doesn't like a little green grape action don't know why i took this picture but you can kind of see facial hair on my jawline <laughs> and hey this is me shaving for the first time it's just a cute moment it's about a year into testosterone and it's my camp director room of camp i used to go to and now work at with teaching me how to shave and it's growing in yay we are about a year and a half in and it's getting longer and darker and the only thing with this is like it's basically just longer and darker peach fuzz so it makes my face look kind of puffy but it's fine it's growth we'll get there and it's filling in i'm so sorry that you have to look at this picture i'm on like eight thousand drugs it's right before my first revision surgery <laughs> but it shows my beard pretty well but i look high out of my mind because i was and yep it's filling in it's filling in i was pretty stoked I maybe let it go a little too far here. I have a nice neck beard, but hey, it's fine. You know, you gotta explore, gotta let it go. See where your boundaries are. And hey, I'm shaping it for the first time. This is about three years on testosterone. I do not know why I waited so long to do this. But yeah, shaping it like this, I mean, you can do it whatever you want, but I tried to kind of like a goatee look and I love it. It makes me look more mature in myself. And I loved it, so I do it now. And um, don't do this if you look like you're about to murder someone, like I do. 
<laughs> uh, stash is not my look, but I tried, you know? Experiment with it. It's pretty fun. And this is what I look like now. It's totally filled in. Um, it's pretty exciting. You know, I didn't really realize how freaking luscious it is until you guys commented on it. Luscious is maybe a strong word, but, you know, whatever. <laughs> this is how happy it makes me that you guys talk about it. Yeah, it's totally filled in. I'm very happy with it. And now I'm four years on testosterone, so it does take time. You know, it's it took about three-ish years to get even to remotely to this stage, so... You know, oh, hey, who's that cutie? God damn, zoom in on that. Uh. Okay, love you. Okay, so I hope you guys liked that timeline. <coughs> Jesus. Once again, I couldn't say it more. It's just patience and genes. Like you just have to let it go and hope that you get what you want. Shaping it different ways maybe helps like this. Having it longer here and here and shorter on the sides and underneath has made me look older. So there's different ways to like use what you got in order to make yourself appear certain ways, just like cisgender guys do. So just play with that maybe. Cause I know a big thing with trans guys specifically is that we look like we're 12 all the time because we just have softer faces until testosterone takes over and masculinizes our face. And that takes quite a while. So, you know, sometimes placing your facial hair in certain places works better. Anyways, I'll be back next week with another video. I hope you guys like this one and I will talk to you later. Thank you so much for your support. Adios. Love you. Bye.